Hi folks, I uh, had a great question here from John P. Wanting to know, really a follow-up question about this query folding and doing left out of joins, presumably on a database. So I'm going to try and build something here and let's see how we go. Okay, I'm going to grab some data from AdventureWorks. I'll grab it from the Access database because that's got the query folding included. This one will do. Okay, so one of the things you have to remember about query folding is that you must use the user interface. So I'm going to select dimension product category and subcategory because I know they have a relationship between them and I'm going to edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the product table and do a left out of join. So the window sometimes gets stuck before. So this is the product table and somewhere over here. Now, because this is a relational database, it automatically joins the subcategory and the category. So if I go to the subcategory, if there is a logical relationship between these products, you should find that they're automatically joined. But for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to ignore that. So go through the full process. So let me just remove that. And I'm going to then do a merge queries. And I'm going to merge it with the subcategory first. And it must be the product subcategory key on the product subcategory key left out of join. Click OK. And let's just check query folding is all fine. So I sel basically select everything from the products table. But at this stage, um, the, you can still see there's no left out of join here. That's because I haven't expanded this table. So now I'll come here and I'll just expand the English product subcategory name. I'm going to do this twice because it I, looks like I could extract the product category, but instead I'm going to extract the product category key so I can do another join. So if I click on this, you'll see that that all seems to be working. And here's the key and let's check this query folding. So it's still working and now you can see this is effectively the left outer join that's been added. And now I should be able to join this again, merge queries and I should be able to merge it on the category, joining on the category key. So I could have done this in one step as you saw before, but I'm doing this deliberately just to demonstrate the outer join product key English product name. So let's have a look. And so in this case, this has all worked, but the key point was that I did the left outer join against the database before I did anything else. And if you have a look at the question from John P here, what he did was he connected the first table and then um, did some transformations, then connected the second table, then did some transformations, and then tried to join them together. And so basically you want to do your left out of joins first and then do your transformations from there. So hopefully you find that useful.